So we've got a fun one today. Uh, we have been sent some one egg uh, by Vegablom and it is vegan honey. How amazing. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> this was sent by the very awesome, uh, where are you, just to make sure I get it right, Mama Vegana. So thank you very, very, very much. You are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. We're so excited about this. Yeah. So to start off with, we have got, let screw this back on again because I just popped it open. Uh, this is dandelion. Yep. Which I will up for that. Uh, or dandelion. Dandelion. As, uh, Jamie, who I work with, calls it. So. Yep. Oh, oh. Right, let's give it a go. Oh. I've made some uh, vegan pancakes. Yeah, obviously just for, you know, testing purposes. So, yeah. um. We, you derive no pleasure from Oh, this. no, no, no. This is purely scientific. Yeah. It's got the texture of honey. It's very kind of like sticky. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know if you can see exactly <laughs> how gloopy and runny this is. It's. The little bit I've just had off with the knife is amazing. Oh. Oh man. That is... It's, it's like honey. No. Yeah. But way better. Because honey, honey always used to be a bit of a strong taste for me. Like, I yeah. really liked it, but it, it could be kind of like really... You know. But this is like a perfectly balanced honey, if that makes sense. Yeah. Without saying that, mm. obviously we know it's dandelion, mm. but if we didn't know, I'd be going, oh, that's a very floral honey. honey. Yeah, um, I wouldn't know any different. That's really, really nice. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh-oh. <laughs> so. I think I... Right, we need to open another one, purely for scientific reasons. Oh, um, no. This one is Daisy. Is that right? Yep. So that one's Daisy. So let's pop this one open. Let's have a look, just look at the colours because that was the other thing when I was looking at this. Like this is like a slightly lighter one. Yeah. Um, there's a chilly one in here as well, which kind of was like a bit more on the red side. Obviously, because it's chilly in it. Yeah. But yeah. Right. It smells kind of the same, but then mm. I kind of imagine it too anyway. Really. Yeah. It, it seems to have a slightly sharper. Um, smell. Let me just do this on the camera so you can see. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Oh man. <laughs> it's a slightly lighter one. No. But that's amazing. That reminds me, you used to get these um, honey sweets. They were like hard shell honey with like a gooey bit in the middle. That's what they re that reminds me of. Mmm. Round round? Vaguely. You used to eat them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't think I put enough on this bit. <laughs> that's lovely though. No, you didn't. It's not that you didn't. You, you think thought you didn't put enough on. Mm. It's that purely for scientific purposes. You already. No, know. you want to get like a proper taste for it. <laughs> but also there was oh, there was wee bits of pancake still showing, and you know. Exactly. You don't want the pancake to um, affect the taste. Very true. Now I want to try this one. This one is dandelion and nettle. Yeah. Is that what we kind of decided it was? I think, yeah. It looks a bit like mint. Yeah. But the website said nettle. But we'll find out in a minute. So that is this one. Yep. It's like a good way to start the day. I think it mint. It's mint. It smells like mint. Yeah. <laughs> You're very quiet through all of this. That's because I'm rubbish with flavours. Again, it's just like. <laughs> I have a very muted sense of smell. True, very, so, very true. Unless it's... Well, I can just do this without you if you like. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can you pass the... Honey, Wunik, 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 over here, please. 
You won't like it, it's fine. <laughs> mm, that's really nice. It is mint. But it's not like hit you in the face mint. It's again it's really, really nicely balanced. Let's see what you think. Mm. I think it's fairly obvious given um how Ivy said it in my response to it. But as soon as she tries something that's really, really nice, her immediate yeah. response says, You won't like it. Hmm. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's it's subtle, it's there, it's subtle. It's, it's like, really, really nicely balanced. It's like a mint tea that's only been briefly infused. Ooh, that would be lovely in mint tea, wouldn't it? Yeah. So it, further experimentation is required. <laughs> yep. Oh god, these are all so good. Um we've got a uh, summer edition which is oh it looks like it's got lemon and orange in it. Do you want to give that a go? Okay. Let's just open more. <laughs> Let's do this. Do you want to try it? Mm. Oh yeah, you can you can smell it's kind of got more of a sharp citrusy note yeah. to it. Have a bit of pancake. Thank you. <laughs> it's very <pretty pancake. laughs> Yeah, you may want to hold that one up, or I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll let you do one of the money shots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. But, yeah. Honey money shot. I mean, wow. So this is a weird thing with this, is that Ooh. I had... Honey was one of the things that I sort of struggled with. Mm. Uh, because... Mm. Obviously, it's not vegan because it's bees are being exploited, and it's bee puke. Mm. And it's bee puke. <laughs> I was trying to be nice and avoid that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> let me just go straight in there. Yeah. Um, ooh, well, that is. So yeah. again, like this is what I really like about these is that they're all really nicely balanced. You wouldn't know it's like dandelion or um, daisy. It's just it just tastes like a floral honey. Yeah. And it's beautifully balanced, especially when you have things like the mint in there and the citrus. Huh. You get a touch of it, yeah. but not too much and not too little. These have been really, really well made and well thought out. Yeah. They're, totally. We need these in Scotland. <laughs> these are incredible. Um, I think the thing which sums it up um, uh, with this is something you mentioned last night when I got home from work and you told me about these. Uh, which was the we need to plan a trip to Germany again. Yep. Uh, so we can stock up on this. <laughs> this is before we'd even open the jars, but yeah. this opening them has just kind of I need I wish to add a caveat that. to this of yes we do, but we're actually gonna have to have some old luggage <laughs> so oh, we yeah. can just grab it full of this. Seriously, they are incredible. Like why why do you need honey when you can do things like this? Seriously. I really don't. Well. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, these are really amazing. Yeah. And, um, oh, was it the dandelion one. Yeah. Yeah, the dandelion one. A friend of mine, Peter, his granny, who is in Poland, she makes this kind of, like, honey-ish type thing where she gets dandelions with sugar and she just boils them down. And I remember Peter giving me some last time I saw him and just like a, oh, try that. And it was like a punch in the face of flowers, but it was it was lovely. It was like vegan honey. But this is like the super refined, no. perfected version of that. Because seriously, you could give that to anyone and they would not know the difference. Yeah. This yeah. stuff is amazing. Yeah, like, I, can't, amazing. I can't believe it's not honey. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so we've got ginger and chilli. Yep. Any preference? Uh, ginger for me, because I'm a huge ginger fan. I'm not a huge ginger fan, but let's give it a go. Like, I'll give it a try. Well, if the others are anything to go by. Exactly. These have all been, like, so perfectly balanced that... Ooh. Hmm. Even though I'm not a ginger person, I'm probably going to be absolutely fine with it again with the... Oh yeah. There you go. But this is the thing that one of the problems that I've had with honey um, is that on the one hand it's exploitative, etc, etc, etc. Also, it's support the bees. We need all the help they can get. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. Try that. Again, it is beautifully, beautifully balanced because ginger is such a strong flavour. It's a strong flavour, but it's also quite a spicy, hot, sharp flavour. Yeah, but that's really nice. That is beautifully balanced. Yeah, you, you've got the ginger taste. There's mm. just a tiny, 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 tiny bit of heat. Mm. But it's... It's just right. Yeah. It's kind of like, it's not even really heat. It's it's like that warming after mm. taste. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you're not getting that to yourself. I like that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of thought that would be... The, to be honest, after the first one, it was very much a... Yeah, there's not going to be any one of these that's going to be the... Now we've got the wild card. Doesn't smell of anything. Mm. <laughs> we, shall, we shall see. We okay. shall see what we shall That's see. Pancake. Thank you. Right. So, what I was going to say is, I'm not well, saying this is like bees, you're dinged, but bees, you're dinged. No, there's ways to support bees without buying honey. Exactly. Because that is like one of the major arguments. Yep. But um plant flowers. Exactly. Look after bees, don't don't eat epi. Yeah. Although there was a thing on the news saying that wasps are actually almost as beneficial as bees in terms of Ooh! <laughs> <coughs> That's got it. that is, I was not expecting that. <laughs> mm. That that's a sly one that. Funnily enough, <laughs> when I did the nim nim, nothing. It was the oh, I, I don't know. It was the uh, oh, mm. that, but I, that's the. I've been leaving quite a bit on my knife, so I can have like have it on its own, yeah. get the taste for it, and also put it on something. But that's an interesting one because that one, okay, it does exactly what it says on the tin. That one's more heat than chili. Yeah. I mean, you don't really get like the fruity flavour of the chilli, you just get, oh, this is nice and bang, <laughs> jelly. <laughs> it does what it says. In the tin. That is really nice though. That would be nice like in like a stir fry or something just to finish it. Yeah. There we go. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. So out of these, out of these six, which is your favourite? I'm going to have to go with... And they're not, damn it, they're not, they're all of them, basically. Um, I think that the the chilli one, I think, like you see, is probably going to end up getting used for cooking mm -hmm. more than I'm um, having on pancakes. Um, to be honest, with the others, it's really difficult to choose. Yeah. Because they're all really, <laughs> really nice. Yeah. They all, they're all subtly different mm. in their own way. I mean, obviously, they're, they're all absolutely amazing. But you yeah. know, in in like just the interest of science and everything, if we were to go to Germany and could only bring back one, for me, it would be the dandelion or the daisy, because I really, really liked. I liked all of them. They're all amazing. But well, for me, these two, it I would really, really like. have to be for me the citrus or the. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. Because I thought that both of those, uh, that uh, they all of them, like you say, are lovely. Mm. Oh yeah, I would more than happily like have any of them. Yeah. But um, oh my god, they're amazing. They are. They're. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's a dangerous precedent. However, we do have something extra on top of this because. Dun, dun, um, dun. Ta -da! This is obviously vegan honey, uh, one egg, yep. if I'm saying that right, I apologise yep. if I'm not. Um, there's obviously the well-known drink mead, which is made from honey. And you were a massive mead fan, weren't you? And Mama Vegana has gone that extra step and has been like extra step, extra incredible mind. with this parcel and has included a bottle of vegan mead oh my god yeah. by the same company yeah. uh vegan percent i know mm. bearing in mind it is 
Not even ten o'clock. <laughs> it's quarter to ten in the morning because I'm doing this before I go to work. So let's crack this open. <laughs> I would like to say you're not working, so it's all I fine. am not working either today or tonight uh, or tomorrow yeah, for that matter. I've got pancake on my hand. <laughs> Uh, Is there any other glass? <laughs> no. And normally I'm very much a drink before midday. No. But. But yeah. you know, we need to try it again for scientific reasons. We need to try this. There we go. Let's look at the colour of that. Ooh. ooh that I can smell it from here. Ooh, wow. That's dangerous. That's smooth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right there. That's. That's really, really smooth. Yeah. I mean, given. That's, that's lovely. Given the honeys, mm. I wasn't expecting it to be this sort of rough, mm. horrible. Blah. No, but you know, with alcohol, the reason I don't really drink alcohol. Is because you tend to get this kind of alcohol kind of flavour punch in it, and that's what I don't like. That is so smooth, though. That's beautiful. Yeah. You're not um, really going to share that as well. No? <laughs> that's a good thing mm. because otherwise you'd come home tonight to find me on the sofa. Truly. It's really, really nice. That's that that. That's winter. dangerous. <laughs> also, but I think that's very much a um, mm. in the winter, curled up on the sofa. Luckily, but, it's getting cold now, you know. Oh no! So yeah, so it looks like when mm. we do go to Germany, we're going to be bringing back a couple of those as well. Mm. Oh, that is absolutely but delicious. Yeah, I think that that it, it's it's warm, it's smooth. The yeah. castle on the um, label. Um, the portcullis is the barcode. Yep. Which is, <laughs> which, oh, it's just brilliant. So. You know, yeah. credit where it's due. Whatever designer did that. <laughs> I like your style. It's cheesy, oh. but I like it. Um, yeah. So yeah, there no. you go. That that has been Winnick our taste Hall. test of Winnig. <laughs> Very dangerous taste tester Indeed. of Wernick because... So, just to show you that again, so that is One Egg by uh, Vega Blum. And yeah, they oh, have whoops. a they have a website which I'll put in the comments below. And yeah, definitely go check them out because everything we've just had has been amazing. Yep. Seriously amazing. And you need to try this stuff if you haven't already because this is yeah. just next level, man. Yep. If you <laughs> if you're missing a honey or a sweet fix, mm -hmm. um, yeah, and are tired of putting fruit syrups on your pancakes, <laughs> but or yeah, sometimes you do if... want that honey kind of kick, don't <laughs> yeah. you? So yeah. yeah, definitely check them out. Yep. Thank you for watching. Thank you again to Vegan Mama Vegana Mama yeah. Vegana uh, for sending this to us. You rock. Seriously, thank you so so much. Yep. And yeah. Subscribe, check us out on Patreon, yep. and we will see you again soon. Bye. Wow. <laughs> Just fucking wow, man. <laughs> <laughs>